subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Sumatran Orangutan. Hero, it's dinner time. Hi everyone, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Come on, Hero. It's time to eat. <coughs> That's strange. I left your food right here at this spot. Now it's gone. Lead the way, Hero. Let's find your dinner. You found it. Great. How did it end up here? Hey, someone touched the food. <gasps> What's that noise? It's a monkey, and it's so red and hairy. <laughs> I don't think you should eat Hero's food, monkey. That food is for dogs. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, red monkey. Hi, Katie. Did you find more about this ape? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is almost done. There it is. It's an orangutan. An orangutan? What a strange name. Orangutan means person of the forest. There are two types of orangutans, and the one you found is a Sumatran orangutan. It comes from the island of Sumatra in western Indonesia. The orangutan you found looks young. He must be looking for his mother. The female orangutans stay with their children for up to seven years. Let's find his mother. I'm sure she'll know what to feed him. Come and join us. Okay, Leo. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Recognize that sound? It must be a tiger. A tiger? Hide behind this tree, everybody. Quick. That is a Sumatran tiger. It is one of Sumatran orangutan's main predators. Hello, Junior Rangers. I've called to warn you that a tiger has been spotted around the area. Ranger Rocky, we just saw the tiger. And now we're hiding behind a tree. Just keep calm and do not make a sound. If the tiger spots you, do not run. Stand upright and make loud noises. You cannot outrun a tiger, but you can try to look taller. But we're not tall at all. Oh no, it's coming closer. We have nowhere to hide. I have an idea. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Katie, hold my hat. <laughs> Great work, Leo. You did it. Thanks, Katie. Oh, that was close. Let's make sure we don't go in that direction. Where should we go from here? Hello, Junior Rangers. Glad to see you're all safe. Ranger Rocky! If you want to find the orangutan's mother, just look for the color red. Not for a bed or a slice of bread, but look for the color red. I see. So not for a bed or for a slice of bread, but, but look, look for, for the, the color, color red. red. Okay, Hero. To find the orangutan's mother, you have to look for the color red. Good luck. Okay, Hero, 
There are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be his mother. Hero, look up in the trees. It's red, but can you see what that is? Correct, that's a kite. Let's continue. Look, they have the color red. But what are those? That's right, those are birds. So let's keep looking. Can you see what that is? That's it! It must be the orangutan's mother! Good work, Hero! We're coming over! <coughs> we did it! We found his mother! Hooray! Yay! We found a young orangutan in our garden. We learned that young orangutans stay with their mothers until they are seven years old. So we went to the forest and brought him back to his mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Sunda Slow Loris. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Hey, what's that sound? Oh, it's a truck. The driver must be in a hurry. What is it, Hero? It's an animal. Don't be afraid, we won't hurt you. Oh, the cage is locked. I'm sorry, animal, I can't open it. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Over here. Did you find anything, Katie? Yes, I did, Leo. The animal you found is a Sunda Slow Loris. A Slow Loris will freeze and cover its face when it feels it's in danger. This position allows it to lick its elbows, which will give the Slow Loris a toxic bite. This bite is painful and can make you very sick. I can't believe the slow loris has a toxic bite. It looks so cute and cuddly. Many people think so too, which is why slow lorises are captured and sold as pets. Sadly, slow lorises do not live long when they are kept as pets. The slow loris is also endangered, which means it's in danger of disappearing forever. I see. So where does the Sunda slow loris come from? Sunda slow lorises live in rainforests in Southeast Asia. They are nocturnal, which means they sleep during the day. During the night, they slowly climb around in trees looking for food like fruits, plants, insects, and even eggs. The truck you saw earlier could belong to an illegal pet trader, or maybe it was someone from Animal Protection taking the slow loris back to its home. Then we should do that too. This slow loris belongs in the wild. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Let's go down and have a look. There it is. It seems like it's doing okay. Oh no, it's a sun bear. Careful everybody. We can't make any sudden move. The slow loris is moving too slowly. It'll never get away in time. Oh no, slow loris. 
Hey, what just happened? The sun bear smelled the toxic saliva on the slow loris's fur. So the sun bear knows that the slow loris is not good to eat. Well, that was close. Now let's get you back to the jeep. Hmm, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Sunda slow lorises are solitary animals, which means they like to be alone. So if you want to find a home for the slow loris, just look for a tree with a lot of space. Not for a clown with a funny face or a dress made of lace, but look for a tree with a lot of space. I see. So not for a clown with a funny face or a dress made of lace, but, but look, look for, for a tree, tree with a lot, lot of, space. of space. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find a home for the slow loris, you have to look for a tree with a lot of space. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be a tree with a lot of space. What about this tree? Oh, there's a python in this tree. Let's keep looking. So what about this tree? Hmm, this tree is full of monkeys. There's no space for our slow loris here. So let's continue. Is this a tree with a lot of space? Yes, it is. There are no other animals in this tree. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found a home for the Sunda Slow Loris. Great job, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> found a Sunda slow loris in our garden. We learned that the slow lorises should not be kept as pets, but that they belong in the wild. So we went to the rainforest to find the Sunda slow loris a home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The vervet monkey. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. <coughs> Hero, we're having a picnic again. Here are my snacks. So where's yours? Where's your bone? <coughs> Did you find it, Hero? Hey, I thought there were more grapes and apples. Hmm. Oh, hi Hero, you found your bone. I seem to have lost some food. Do you know where it might be? What? A monkey? Oh, hello. Do you want to join us with a picnic? The monkey really seems to like the fruit. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So what did you find out about the monkey? Hi, Leo. This monkey is called a vervet monkey. And as you have noticed, vervet monkeys like fruit a lot. They also eat things like leaves and flowers. And occasionally they eat insects and even birds, eggs, and lizards. Vervet monkeys have cheek pouches, which means they can store food in their cheeks and save it for later. The vervet monkey lives in certain parts of Africa. There, vervet monkeys live in trees. They look for food on the ground during the day, and at night, they sleep in the trees. What's that beeping sound? Oh, it's an alert. Oh, no. It seems that a young vervet monkey was brought into the country recently, and that's against the law. I think it's the monkey you found in the garden. Then we should bring it back home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. Let's go. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, here we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, it's your turn for lots of fun.
sound. <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> hey, Vervet Monkey, where are you going? Leo, that could have been the alarm call Ranger Rocky told us about. Remember? When they sense danger, the Vervet Monkeys warn each other by making an alarm call. So that's why our Vervet Monkey ran off. It's trying to hide. Come on, let's join him. Are you okay, Katie? I'm okay, Leo. This hole must be some kind of trap to capture wild animals. How are we going to get out of here? It's too high. Hero, can you help us? I hope there's nothing dangerous out there. Hero, is that you? It's the monkey! They found something to help us climb out. Good work, monkey and hero. You saved us. Now let's get you back home. So what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the young monkey's home, just look for a troop of vervet monkeys. Not for green peas or rubber duckies, but look for a troop of vervet monkeys. I see. So not for green peas or rubber duckies, but look, look for, for a troop of vervet monkeys. monkeys. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the young vervet monkeys home, you have to look for a troop of vervet monkeys. Good luck. <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be a troop of vervet monkeys. What about this place? Hmm, I see some trees, but there aren't any vervet monkeys, so let's keep looking. What are those? Those are monkeys, but they look different. So they're not vervet monkeys. Let's continue. What can you see here? There's a river and there are trees and those are monkeys. It's a troop of vervet monkeys. Good job, Hero. We're coming over. Look, Leo. It's the Vervet Monkey's mother. We did it. We found the young Vervet Monkey's home and its troop. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Hooray! We found a young Vervet Monkey in our garden. We learned that vervet monkeys live in troops and that they warn each other with alarm calls. So we took it home to reunite it with its troop and mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The crab-eating macaque. Hero! Where are you, Hero? Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Do you want to play a game, Hero? <laughs> Great! Let's play a game of fetch. I will throw this stick very far away, and you will get it and return it back to me. You ready? Fetch! Hero, you're supposed to get the stick. Ow! That's weird. Sticks don't fly. Come on, guys. Let's have a look. There's nothing here. It's a monkey! 
I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, monkey. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, brother. The computer is looking for information about the monkey. Bingo! This monkey is a macaque. A macaque? Yes, a macaque. A macaque is a type of monkey. And the monkey you found is a crab-eating macaque. I guess there must be a lot of crabs to eat. Not really. Crab-eating macaques actually don't eat that much crabs. It's an omnivore, so it can eat different types of plants and small animals. Where does it come from? Crab-eating macaques live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The macaque you found comes from this place. Hmm, I think the macaque got lost. We should bring it back to its family. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. There were too many trees here. It's impossible to walk. Wait, where are you going? We can't climb like that. He's gone. What is it, Hero? Stairs? Let's go up and have a look. Hey, this monkey is also a macaque. But this one is much bigger. Whoa! What are you doing? Were you looking for this? If you give me the binoculars, I will give you this banana. What is it, Hero? A sign? Hmm. I think it means we cannot give the monkeys food. It says that they have to find their own food, or else they might bother us and try to steal our things. Oh, dear. Careful, Leo. Do not smile with your teeth showing, because the macaques will see that as a sign of aggression. Let's fly! I think we should look for another group of macaques for you. These macaques weren't so nice. Hmm, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger Rocky! If you want to find a group of macaques, just look up in the trees, not in the bees or high in the cheese, but look up in the trees. I see. So not in the bees or high in the cheese, but, but look, look up, up in, in the, the trees. trees. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find a group of macaques, you have to look up in the trees. Good luck. Okay, Hero, there are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be a group of macaques. Hero, look up in the trees. Are those macaques? Hmm, those are birds. Let's continue. Do you know what those are? Correct, those are fruits. So let's keep looking. Can you see what they are? That's right, they are macaques. Good work, Hero, we're coming over. 
<laughs> we did it! We found a group of macaques for our new friend. Great work, everyone! Yay! <laughs> found a macaque in our garden. We learned that a macaque is a monkey. We went to the rainforest and found a group of other macaques it can live with. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. <laughs>